Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Hunt, a Korean espionage action thriller hybrid from 2022 that stars Lee Jung Jae and Jung Woo Sung. Most surprisingly, this is also Lee Jung Jae's directorial debut. It's also one of the more highly anticipated Korean movies of the year. In the 1980s, when the military dictatorship reached its peak, KCIA Foreign Unit Chief Park Pyong-ho, played by Lee Jung-jae, and Domestic Unit Chief Kim Jong-do, uh, played by Jung Woo Sung, are working together in Washington, D.C., protecting the president. While they are on patrol, the CIA notices an enemy sniper and informs the Korean team about it. Park and Kim catch the sniper dead. After the sniper incident in Washington, the director of the KCIA tells these men that there is a North Korean mole within the company known as Dong Lim. And according to intel from the CIA, he's a dangerous spy who is attempting to assassinate the president of the South. So this movie begins fast, with a good, exciting shootout inside of a stage theater building, some effective gunplay, as well as some foot chases down the various corridors, some bloody deaths as well. Very solid start to the film. You get some excitement, and you get a feel for the relationship between our two leads. The, they're on the same side of the conflict, but they do not especially like one another, uh, due to some prior events that are mentioned later. Our main characters are not exactly the most moral of men either, since they work diligently for a slimeball president, who is one of the more notorious real-life figures in South Korean history. But at the same time, they are technically working to prevent foreign operatives to do harm against the country, which is a good thing. <clears throat> so that creates some multidimensionality instead of them being, you know, squeaky clean good guys, right? Story moves briskly with an incredible sense of urgency to it that'll keep you locked into the conflict. I think that's one of this film's biggest positives. It, there's not much dead weight in this movie at all. Um, but you need to pay attention because it's a little bit complicated. And uh, you need a little bit of an understanding of South Korean history from the 1980s in order to gain some context as to what was happening during that time. And uh, you don't even need that, that extensive, extensive of knowledge. But if you've already seen some of the fairly recent Korean films like A Taxi Driver or 1987, you may have enough awareness from simply watching those movies, all right, as to what was going on. And I think it's important to have that context here. Um, I think <clears throat> the director said he actually added a few more scenes into the film um, for international audiences to give them a little bit more context as to what was happening back then. But I still think you need some, you know, some additional research outside of the movie to really get what's going on here. So if you haven't seen A Taxi Driver or 1987, you should definitely watch those because they're great movies as well. Now, I would say a few of the flashback <clears throat> scenes in Hunt did feel a little bit rushed and thrown in, a little bit abrupt, even though they do have a few <clears throat> very cool cameo appearances from some other big-name actors. Still, compelling story overall here. And some of the side plots eventually have direct impact on the main story due to the espionage knowledge of some of the side characters. And then, of course, there's the mystery of the film. Perhaps <coughs> the mole is one of our lead characters. Perhaps he's someone else, right? I had my suspicions at various points in the movie, but it wasn't entirely obvious. In fact, the final 40 minutes of this movie... I basically had no idea what was going to happen. Like the confrontations that would occur at the end, I wasn't quite sure how it was going to play out. It felt very open and unpredictable, and that's another positive that I need to emphasize. You know, during the final act, everything just kind of comes together in a very interesting way, and it's nuanced and it's very nicely written, I think. Um,. I tend to not watch trailers for Korean movies that I know I'm going to watch because I like to be surprised. 
And I was definitely surprised at the quantity of action in this movie. You know, with movies with a premise like this, I just automatically expect a dramatic thriller. You know what I mean? Espionage, dramatic thriller. And you do get that element in the film. But, I mean, this is an action thriller. You know what I mean? And there's a good number of action scenes in this movie. I was surprised and very happy with that. Uh, I talked about the opening action scene, but we get another even better shootout that takes place on urban streets. And uh, that scene is also within the opening 30 minutes. So you have two set pieces within the opening 30 minutes of the movie. So it generates a very fast pace early. And then um, you get some patches of investigation and interrogation through force during the middle a lot. But it still maintains that sense of urgency, which is so important. You get a pretty sweet shootout in a hideout location. Uh, the use of squibs in this movie is quite good as well. And uh, there's a neat little grenade trap that I liked. And then the finale is quite satisfying too. So even the action in this movie delivers. There's enough of it, and it's uh, good quality. Uh, performances are great, as expected from these actors. Uh, Jung Woo Sung in particular, pretty intimidating in this movie. Like, the dude is a man's man in this movie. Like, if this character... If I met this character, like, in real life, like, I'd be a little nervous, man. <laughs> like, he's very, like, imposing. In fact, it's one of my favorite performances from, uh, from this actor, is this film. Just because he has so much intensity to him, but it's, it's like a realistic intensity, you know? So I liked him. And, of course, I mean, uh, uh, you know, our lead actor, Lee Jung-jae, is great as well. So, yeah. When all is said and done, I mean, I think this movie... Is certainly worth the online hype that it's gotten. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's I highly recommend it, and I would say that it's a must-watch. It is. It's really good. Uh, currently available streaming on YouTube and Amazon, and uh, I would watch this one as soon as you could get your hands on it. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.